Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Mike. I'm a pilot and a flight instructor, and now I am a proud new owner of a 1986 Piper Malibu, my dream airplane. And I'm excited to bring one of those flights to you today uh, where something critical went wrong at the worst possible time. The autopilot decided to disengage, and here is what that looked like as we were turning to line up with the runway as we're flying through the clouds. November 99 Delta, you're seven miles from Fulvaj, cross Fulvaj at or above 2,500, cleared for the straight in RNAV runway 5 approach at Waukegan. Tower Malibu 9099 Delta on the RNAV 5. Malibu 9099 Delta, Wakiki Tower, report Belco inbound. Unable. Oh, alright, we, we got Belco, never mind. We'll report Belco 99 Delta. That is so annoying in the background. Holy crap, that's annoying. Why is that so annoying? Why is that happening? Yeah, so that's not a very good sound. The sound of incessant beeping, and I don't know about you, but that scrambles my brain. All right, autopilot, where is that? It pull the autopilot circuit breaker for crying out loud. I should know where this is, you know? I should. That incessant beeping really bugs me. So what I should have done is I should have told Approach, I'm having some system malfunctions going on. I need some delay vectors. I need to climb back up to a higher altitude. But instead, I decided to proceed forward and try to rescue the Approach. And the problem there is I immediately gained 100 feet as I started to hand fly. I was not mentally prepared to hand fly it at that point. Um, the purpose of the beeping is the autopilot telling me, hey, guess what? I don't have the airplane and you better start flying because nobody else is. And so I did start flying. Uh, the problem is how do we get the beeping to stop? There's two ways. Usually you press the red button or you pull the circuit breaker. And in the moment, I actually don't remember if I pressed the red button. I probably did and it didn't work. So what I did was I needed to find the circuit breaker. The problem is there's like 50 circuit breakers. You need to know where the autopilot ones are uh, especially regarding the electric trim because if one of those systems has a critical malfunction it can actually try to point the nose of the airplane at the ground as we've seen in some similar uh, 737 failures uh, in the airlines so what we need to do is know where that circuit breaker is ahead of time so we don't have to go hunting for it while we're simultaneously flying the airplane by hand because the autopilot doesn't work anymore the third error is a subtle one but also significant because I proceeded to fly parallel to the final approach course, that is, parallel with the extended runway centerline. The problem is that the approach sensitivity of this GPS approach changes dramatically when you are two miles outside of the final approach fix, noted by the Maltese cross on the instrument approach plate. So when you're two miles away from that fix, the full scale deflection, meaning the needle all the way to the left or all the way to the right, means you're one mile off course. When you proceed forward to the final approach fix, by the time you reach the final approach fix, that changes from one mile off to 0.3 miles off, which means the sensitivity effectively triples over a very short period of time. So even as I was tracking a little bit towards the runway center line, 
the needle was going in the opposite direction of where I thought it should be going. So that is another thing to be aware of is the, the sensitivity of the approach and where that is supposedly changing so that you can mentally prepare for that in case you're not centered. So to summarize, my third mistake was not aggressively keeping the needles centered when they needed to be centered the most when that sensitivity changes. This flight ended mostly well. The, the minimums were 250 AGL. That is 250 feet off the ground. I'm supposed to have the runway in sight. I had it in sight a little bit before that. So it ended extremely well. I was centered on the on the glide slope and on the the runway center line. So everything turned out. It looked really well. However, it was a little bit more stressful than it needed to be. Those three mistakes compounded um, to, to provide for a pretty stressful approach. Whereas I should have broken that chain of events at the beginning. Ask for new vectors. Number two, know where that circuit breaker is. And number three, aggressively keep the needle centered. So with that, I'm going to try to keep these videos a little bit more short and to the crisp to the point, and I'll leave the full raw footage after the lesson here so for you guys to enjoy afterwards. So with that, thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. With that, this is Mike signing off. I'll see you guys next time. Aston Airport Information Echo 1253 Zulu, wind 010 at 5, visibility 2, light rain, mid, ceiling 600 overcast. Temperature 17, 2.16, altimeter 3014. Remarks, surface visibility 3. ILS approach in use, runway 36. RNAV approaches in use, runways 32 and 3. Notices to airmen, all runways 100% wet. Runway 36 can do. Madison clearance, Malibu, 90099 Delta, IFR to Waukegan. Malibu, 90099 Delta, Madison clearance, cleared to the Waukegan Airport via direct Crenna, Kilo, Romeo, Echo, November, Alpha, direct destination, maintain 5,000, departure frequency 120.1, squawk 5337. Cleared via direct Crenna, then direct destination 5,000, uh, departure 120.1, squawk 5337, Malibu, 90999 Delta. Malibu, 90999 Delta, Rebec, correct. Crenna, Malibu, 9099 Delta, South Ramp, Echo, Taxi. Malibu, 90099 Delta, Madison Ground, runway 3, taxi via Delta, Bravo, Bravo 3. Delta, Bravo, Bravo 3, runway 3, Malibu, 9099 Delta. Malibu, 99 Delta, verify if information echo. Affirmative, we have echo. Madison Tower, Malibu, 90099 Delta, Bravo 3, 3, ready for departure. Malibu 90099 Delta Madison Tower, hold short runway 3, traffic lines runway 36. Hold short 399 Delta. Malibu 99 Delta, expect light and moderate precipitation for the first two zero miles of your flight. Fly runway heading, runway 3, cleared for takeoff. Runway heading, runway 3, cleared for takeoff, Malibu 9099 Delta. Endeavor 4652, turn left at Alpha 2, contact ground point niner. Left Alpha 2, ground point nine, thanks 1753 is ready for departure. United 1753 Madison Tower. Expect light and water precipitation at least till Garrett intersection. Wind 0405. Fly runway heading, runway 36, cleared for takeoff. The runway heading, cleared for takeoff, 36, United 1753. Delta, contact departure. Departure 99 Delta, good day. Madison departure, Malibu 9099 Delta, 1900 climbing 5000. Malibu 9099 Delta, Madison departure, radar contact, turn right direct 
Crenna, light to moderate precipitation for the next 20 miles. Right, direct Crenna, 99 Delta. In Malibu, 99 Delta, we've had reports of an ELT 25 miles southeast of Madison. If you could monitor guard frequency for that, please. Wilco. Nine Delta doesn't hear anything on 21.5 and smooth ride so far. Nine Nine Delta, thank you. Okay, well, our information Sierra 1355 Zulu weather. Wind 100 at 7, visibility 2, missed. Sky condition ceiling 200 overcast, temperature 192.18, altimeter 3013. Argonne runway 5 is continuous. We back our whole short instructions and runway assignment. Right here, information, Sierra. No, 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 Delta, expect like amount of precipitation is certain enough in about another uh, one, five miles, uh, lasting at least uh, two, five miles past that. Uh, there is an area of heavy precipitation centered over Janesville Airport, about six miles in diameter, moving eastbound. Contact Rockford approach, one, two, one point zero. Good day. One two one point zero. Have a good morning. Nine and Delta. I'm, uh, in uh, Malibu, nine nine, nine and Delta. Just to verify, did you get any ELTs as your final one? Negative uh, on that, and it's a pretty, been a pretty smooth ride so far. Malibu, nine and nine and Delta. Roger. Thank you. Hello, Rockford, Malibu, nine or zero, nine or nine or Delta, five thousand, and we're going to end up requesting the uh, ILS two three into Waukegan, if you can forward that along. Malibu 9099 Delta, Rockford Approach, good morning, Rockford Altimeter 3011, yep, I'll let Chicago Approach know exactly what you want. Roger. Malibu 99 Delta, contact Chicago Approach 120.55, they're going to work that out for you. One. 120.55, and Delta, thanks for the help, good day. You bet, bye-bye. 070, Echo, contact Chicago Center on 120.12, 2012, have a good flight. 2012, you have a good day, sir, thanks for the help. And November 61, uniform here, I have your clearance available, so I'm ready to copy, this will be a hold for release clearance. Chicago Malibu, 9099 Delta, 5000, request direct Waukee. We have Sierra, we'd uh, like to request the ILS 23. No, 99 Delta Chicago approach, I have your request. Uh, you do have Sierra, thank you very much for that. And unable direct Waukee at this time. Stand by for vectors to final. Roger. All right, take one uniform, Sierra, you're, this is a full route clearance. And Jet 560 Chicago departure, radar contact, uh, climate maintaining 3000. And information here is current at Waukegan. They're advertising the RNAP 5. Okay, up to 3,000, and uh, we're working on the ATIS, and we'll fly on RNAP 5. Runway 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, Okay, you got information, Sierra, 1355, Zulu weather. Wind 1560, turn left heading 340. 340, engine 5 Chicago, 9-9 Delta, if they're do higher than 200 overcast, we can accept the RNF 5 at Waukegan. Uh, um, right now I'm showing the 1355 observation, two miles of biz with mist overcast at 200. Yeah. Okay, so you can accept the RNF-5? I guess what I'm saying is that if you get an update from them or call them on the phone and say, are you 300? 300, we can do the RNF-5, but 200, we need to ILS. 99 Delta, copy that. Um, yeah, I'll check with them and see if they got a special coming out. All right, thank you. Chicago 99 Delta, we have ADSP weather from a few minutes ago. Let's just do the RNF-5. If it doesn't work, we'll do the ILS. Delta, I was on the landline. Can you say again, please? 
Uh, we have the, we, we're showing 300 overcast for the latest ADSB weather update, so we'll go ahead and try the RNF 5. If it doesn't work out, well, then we'll just do the ILS next. 99 Delta, roger for now. Proceed direct to Povaz, showing the final approach course to send maintain 4,000. Povaz, showing the final approach course to send maintain 4,000, 99 Delta. NJF 560, turn left heading uh, 270, just want to widen out a little bit. 27560. And jet 560, speed is your discretion, just to maintain 2,500. 2,500, 60, turn right heading 320. 320 is at 560. I copy, sir, stand by one. Alright, so the RNF 5 at Waukegan. The chart is current. Looking at the notes, everything looks fine. Marcher, so we have the ADIS. Tower is 20.05. 7 November, Chicago departure, radar contact. Ground is 2165. 4,087 hours here. Minimum's 976. Let's call it 980. 980. So it's one tick below 1,000. And uh, November 1 uniform Sierra off of runway 8 at Lake in the Hills, enter controlled airspace heading 18. Oh, that's actually uh, enter controlled airspace heading 18. If we get to Fovage, we, we go down to 2400. Not off by uh, 1430. Time now is 1430. We don't need to, we can just grab the glide slope. Probably at 4000, we'll be fine. This approach is 2300 straight ahead to Lyric. 2500 till established on the final approach course, cleared for the RNAV runway 5 at Waukegan. Speed is your discretion. Alright, uh, clear for the RNAV uh, 5 at Waukegan. Speed our discretion. We do have zero. No, we're 99 Delta, just gonna maintain 3000. Just gonna maintain 3000, 99 Delta. November 99 Delta, descend and maintain 2500. Descend and maintain 2500, 99 Delta. And Jet 560, turn right heading 270. 270 and Jet 560. November 99 Delta, you're 7 miles from Fulvage, cross Fulvage, at or above 2500, cleared for the straight in our nav runway 5 approach at Waukegan. Cross Fovo Jetter above 2,500, or at 2,500, clear to RNAV, runway 5 approach at Waukegan, 9 Delta. And Jet 560, descend and maintain 3,500. 3,500, Jet 560. 0529876543 2, 1, and turn. Mode. Set this to 052, 052. Weber 2623, turn left heading 270. Left heading 270, Weber 2623. Weber 963, uniform 4.5, descending 4000, direct pleasant. Then we're 963, uniform Chicago approach. I stepped on the first part of your transmission. Sierra is current at Waukegan. You expect the RNAV run runway 5. We'll expect RNAV runway 5, 963, uniform. And Jet 560, you're cleared for the RNAV runway. Trim 16, enunciation. We're going to have RNAV to fly it by hand. Your 99 Delta, contact Waukegan Tower 120.05. 12005, 99 Delta, good day. Jet 979, descend and maintain 4000. That's really annoying. How do I get that to shut up? 
Waukegan Tower, Malibu, 9099 Delta on the RNAV-5. Malibu, 9099 Delta, Waukegan Tower, report. Go call inbound. Unable. Oh, all right, well, we, can, we got Belco, never mind. We'll report Belco, 99 Delta. That is so annoying in the background. Holy crap, that's annoying. Why is that so annoying? Why is that happening? All right, autopilot, where is that? Pull the autopilot circuit breaker for crying out loud. I should know where this is, you know? I just should. Alright, we're almost. At Belco. Nine nine Delta at Boco. Come on, nine nine Delta runway five, clear to land. Clear to land runway five, nine nine Delta. One of your flaps. There's that. Or you twenty inches. Update on the ceilings, is it 300 right now? Sure, 300 over gas. Thank you. All right, second notch of flaps. All right, 700 to go. <clears throat> Three green down to lock, prop full forward. Down a lock, prop full forward. 300 to minimums. Starting to pick up the ground, 200 to go. A little bit below glide slope. One hundred feet to go to minimums. And we have it in sight. Three green down a lock, prop full forward. Confirm clear to land runway five nine and delta. 
Delta, clear to land runway 5. Clear to land runway 5, 9 Delta. And Delta is going to signature. Remember, 9099 Delta, Roger. The speed permit, uh, turn right, uh, Bravo. Right and Bravo, 99 Delta, we can make it. And taxi straight ahead on Bravo into the ramp at Mike 2. Straight ahead, right turn at Mike 2. Straight ahead, right at Mike 2, 99 Delta. Thanks for the help this morning. And would you say the base is accurate at 300? Yeah, they're we broke out like right at minimums at 275 AGL. So yeah, it's it's right there. Roger, thank you.